just want to know what Shannon does during the day. Like she doesn't have any hobbies. It's V. Welcome back to my channel. I just want to thank all you guys for the love and the support and the comments. Nothing goes overlooked. Nothing goes underappreciated. Thank you so much. And if you're a new subscriber, thank you. And I promise you're going to love it here. So tonight's episode, it was a hot fucking mess. It was a lot. So let's just get into it. I say the same thing every time I start. So I'm going to say the same thing again. So tonight, we pick up where we left off last time. So, we start off the night with the end of the recoupling ceremony. And our girl Amy is in shambles. She's crying hysterically because, of course, the comment that Jeremy thinks of her as just a friend. And Olivia and Cachet are comforting her. They're giving her words of affirmation like, girl, don't worry. F him. There's going to be more guys. And you got your girls. Isaiah picks up Cache and then him and Cache start kissing and it upsets Amy even more. And I understand where Amy's coming from because she also likes Isaiah and Cache is her BFF in the house. So it's like, why would you kiss this man in front of my face when you know I like him and I need you right now. I'm, in, I'm, I'm a mess. Olivia goes off and comforts Amy. Jeremy over here in the next corner talking to the guys, confused as to why Amy's upset. Amy's upset because... You friend zoned her and you told a woman that you just met one episode ago that she's like your friend. It's not complicated, bro. So now it's a game of telephone. Now Jeremy's going to Olivia and asking Olivia what's Amy's issue. And Olivia's like, bro, you friend zoned her. That's the issue. Now, let's move over. So now Jeremy's talking to Amy and Jeremy's telling Amy, I never told Florita that I feel like you and I are friends. I don't know where Florita got that from. All in all, the end of the conversation concluded with, okay, I believe that you didn't say that, even though he did. <sighs> now, moving along to Amy and Isaiah's chat. This first 15 minutes of this episode is just like ping pong with the head with the conversations. So now Amy and Isaiah are having a chat and they're chatting about the same old thing. I still like you. My friend, you're with my friend. Are you still open to communicate? I was upset with the fact that you and Cache kissed in front of me. And this was all within the first 15 minutes of the episode. Next morning, the guys are outside and the girls are in the makeup room. And they're both actually doing the same thing. They're comparing notes and they're talking about the recoupling from last night. Giovanni asks Isaiah, why did you go for Cache instead of Amy? I thought you liked Amy more. Isaiah says, I'm feeling Cache. I feel like chemistry. She's amazing. Giovanni then asks Jeremy, what was the issue with um, Amy? She didn't seem to be happy to be picked by you. Jeremy gives a BS response because Jeremy's full of BS. Now onto the girls' room. The girls are talking about their relationship with each guy and then they also press the issue about Jeremy telling Florita that he sees Amy as a friend. <sighs> I can't wait till we're done with this topic. Olivia and Giovanni are having a conversation and during the conversation it comes up the fact that they feel as if Isaiah is being sketched with Cache. I'm not gonna lie, that makes me kind of nervous because they both are close to her in the house, especially Giovanni, and if they feel like Isaiah is sketch, hmm, it's kind of making me rethink him and has me raising my eyebrow. I guess we gotta wait and see if he's genuine or not. Because if Isaiah hurts Cash, I will hurt Isaiah. So the next morning, Amy and Cashay have a conversation about what happened last night. Amy tells Cashay, I didn't appreciate the fact that you kissed Isaiah in front of me. You know that I like him. And and Cashay is basically telling Amy, my bad sis, the reason why I kissed Isaiah was because I made a mistake of not kissing Cinco when we were coupled and I just didn't want to do that again and jinx myself. But they basically came to the conclusion that Amy just said, I'm going to remove myself from the situation because I care about you too much and I genuinely want to see you happy. And you got to respect that. 
Blakey, Florita, and Corey are having a combo. Corey does not like the fact that his good friend Jeremy and his girl are at odds with one another. So he kind of wants them to patch things up. But the whole ironic part about it is while he's telling Florita to patch things up with Jeremy, Jeremy's over at this over to the side with Shannon plotting on how to get Florita. I just want to know what Shannon does during the day. Like she doesn't have any hobbies. Like you can't make this shit up. So now Florita and Jeremy are sitting down and having a chat. And how quickly does Florita crumble? Jeremy tells her, you misunderstood me when I told you that I think of her as a friend, but I think you're the prettiest girl in the house and I'm interested in you. And right off back, Florita's like, ugh, I'm interested in you too. Do what you gotta do, don't hold back. So while Jeremy and Florita are having their conversation, Corby's a few feet away and him and Shannon are having a talk. Shannon's basically telling Corby like, yo, Jeremy wants your woman. I've never seen you feel no type of way about no girl. Ever since Florita came into the house, I've been I've seen a different side of you, but Jeremy wants your woman. Honestly, Josh, you really need to do something. You need to keep Shannon occupied because Shannon has absolutely nothing to do in the villa. How the fuck were you just telling Jeremy how to bag Florita and now you're over here telling Corey, yeah, Jeremy wants Florita. Shannon, mind your business. Like, what are you doing here? You're the one that gave... Shannon, Shannon's basically the one that gave Jeremy the battery in his back. And now you're over here telling Corey all this stuff. Yeah, because you feel guilty about what you just did, don't you? She needs something to do. She needs a hobby in there. Jeremy and Corey, they have a chat. Man to boy. The man being Corey, of course. And Jeremy's basically telling Corey, like, yo, I want your girl and I'm going to pursue her. Corby's just like, bro, let the best man win. Yo, poor Corby. He can't catch a break. Tonight in the villa, there's a 90 themes party. <laughs> like, you could never go wrong with a 90s theme party. With the 90s. During the party, they play a game called Saved by the Bell, where it's full of truths or dares. So, first one's up, Olivia Giovanni. Basically, Giovanni has to tell everybody in the house his first impressions of them. Next up was Trina and Cinco. Trina basically had to pick somebody to put marshmallows in their mouth. So Trina goes and picks Shannon. They both put marshmallows in their mouth. They have to say bomb chicka wow wow. Whoever says it better gets to kiss Cinco. Trina said it better, so Trina got to kiss Cinco. Next one's up, Jeremy and Amy. Jeremy's dare was to... Was it a dare or was it true? I forgot. But... It was to kiss the two people that he would have a threesome with. He kisses Olivia. I was shocked. And then he kisses Florita. Amy's there was basically to kiss the person in the house that she would want to be with. And we all knew she was thinking about Isaiah. And she did not want to do the dare. But Cache, but my girl Cache, she's not a hater. She was just like, girl, do you? Amy basically goes ham on Isaiah. A text comes through and the new guys have officially entered the villa. Wes, he's a financial analyst. Next one up, Slade. Did you guys see the guys' faces? The guys were shooketh when they saw Wes and Slade. Slade is huge. The girls, like I knew, the girls were flabbergasted. Did you see Amy making googly eyes with Wes? Did you see Florita making googly eyes with Wes? Did you see Olivia going gaga -ga for Slade? And I love the way Giovanni laid it all out. He knew who was going for who. He was right. It was Josh comforting the guys for me like, oh, we're all good. You know, we've been with our girls for a while. Like, boy, don't worry. None of them was Shannon. So you're fine, please. But when Wes went up to Isaiah expressing interest in Cache, I was like, oh my God, I can't stop saying like, I'm sorry. But anyways, I was like, okay, energy, energy. Amy gets a text that America has chosen her to go on a date with Slade. You're welcome, Amy. And then Wes gets a text that America has chosen him to go on a date with Cache. You're welcome, Cache. Wait, one thing about us Love Islanders, we're always 
on like the same page. I love the way we all think. But anyways, isn't it crazy how both of Isaiah's girlfriends both got a date? Wes's date with Cache, it was cute, it was nice. He expressed interest in her. Slade's date with Amy was also cute, it was nice. Wes and Slade both get texts that they can, they have the um, option of picking another girl for a date. Slade picks Olivia, shocker. Wes picks Amy, shocker. Honestly, I felt a connection with Olivia and Slade, and I definitely felt a connection with Wes and Amy. With Wes and Amy, you can feel the chemistry through the TV. Did you see their eyes? Like, did you see like the eye contact? Like the smiles, like the conversation flowed effortlessly. I learned more about Amy. And the same thing with Olivia. I've never seen Olivia open up like that to Giovanni and they've been rocking for a while. Poor Giovanni. During the day, Jeremy pulls Florita to the side and they share a kiss. I'm really nervous for Corey because I kind of see chemistry and like sparks flowing between Florita and Jeremy and it's like damn Corey can't catch a break but it's like why do you guys why are you two want Florita like she has terrible brows I don't know maybe it's something I'm not seeing on TV I, maybe her personality is awesome and I'm just not seeing it but I just can't get past her brows Florita and Jeremy had this little innie that they both kissed and as of that moment Corey has no idea the girls come back from their dates. Amy and Cache are both feeling Wes. It's round two with Amy and Cash and round three for Cache. Like, it's like Cache can never have a man to herself. Wes and Slade compare notes about the dates. They both were smitten with Amy, of course. But Wes says he was pleasantly surprised with Cache and he, like, sees something with her and stuff. And I'm just like, yo, our girl Cache just be coming through in the clutch. She came through in the clutch with Isaiah. She came through the clutch with Wes. Like, our girl cannot be defeated. Cache, being the grown woman that she is, she goes and talks to Isaiah. And she tells Isaiah, I had a great time with Wes. And I'm going to talk to him. So I just want to let you know. Little Mr. Isaiah kind of catches an attitude. But not really an attitude. But he comes off as controlling. He tells her, if you're going to connect with Wes, then it's going to make me change my mind in pursuing you. And... To me, that makes no sense. Cache presents him with a scenario. If it were you and two girls came in the house and you told me you wanted to pursue one of the girls, I wouldn't say anything. But I don't know. I'm not going to lie. Red flags for Isaiah. Red flags for Isaiah. Our night comes to a sad ending where Florita finally tells Corey about her interest in Jeremy and the kiss that her and Jeremy shared. Corey is... Honestly, Corey's sad, and I don't blame Corey. I really thought Corey had a, was gonna have a good thing, but this shit is crazy. Corey can't catch a break. Giovanni can't catch a break. At this point, I just want justice for Corey. I'm not gonna lie. I think you guys are right about Giovanni and Cache becoming a thing. I'm really like watching the episode and seeing how he cares about her, and just thinking about the conversation he had with her um, a few episodes ago when they were up top. And he was comforting her when she was like in tears. You guys are really right. I really do think that Cache and Giovanni are the connection. This is why Cache is like can't really find someone. And Giovanni's having issues with Olivia. Because maybe they are meant to be. The best relationships do start off as friends first. I want to say thank you again for just showing me so much love. And subscribing to my channel. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you guys next time. Good night.